Background. Two days ago, before I got my hair cut, I FaceTimed my close mate, John Connolly. John Connolly is an extremely hardworking, talented ultra runner who wins races. He lives in Scotland and trains as part of Team Pylon under the coaching of professional ultra runner, Paul Giblin. John has won races uh, like the Stour Valley Path 100, the Glen Loyne Ultra, Devil of the Highlands. He was second overall in the Scottish Trail Championships and won his age group. And he started his running journey at the same time I started my triathlon journey. He inspires me no end. So I thought what better person to call up and get some advice on running longer distances like I'm currently trying to do. And here's how our conversation went. Oh, hi, John. Hi, Ben, how are you? Oh, it is. I'm very well, how are you? Long time no speak. Long time no speak. So what's just happened is that I called John, we had a 40 minute conversation and there was no audio whatsoever and it just, it was, I just want to claw my whole face off. So what we've decided is that now I'm going to quick fire ask John the questions I asked him because he gave some good answers that really helped me and hopefully will help everyone else. John, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame because there was so much good stuff. Oh my god, one. there was a lot of laughter as well, and I wanted to just put it in there, like fill the whole vlog with laughter. Right, okay, John. Um, John, for your training, how much how much mileage do you do a week, and how much elevation climbing? So generally, minimum of sixty miles a week, with somewhere in the region of five to ten thousand foot of climbing, depending on where we are in terms of the training program. Yeah, John is very lucky, so he's got hills on his doorstep near enough, and not just hills like big Scottish mountainy type hills. I, I can vouch for that, I nearly died there. Anyway, <laughs> um, when I ran the marathon, I um, got an awful blister on the side of my foot. I didn't get any blisters anywhere else, luckily, <clears> but <throat> what recommendations do you have for people that are just starting to run long distance to stop getting kind of blisters and rubbing injuries, things like that? few things that you can try, one of them being compede, if you've got a problem area that always flares up then treat it with compede or with a bit of plaster or something that's got a good adhesive to it because obviously the friction in your foot is the same as the friction in the plaster, eventually it'll rub off if you've not got a good adhesive on it. Um, and gingy socks I think they're called, they're basically gloves for feet um, and the other ones better better fitting trainers. It's not so much for blisters this one, this one's for toenails. So if you're doing a lot of hill running, yeah. um, if you look at your trainers, a lot of the time there's like the the loops at the very top that look as if they kind of come down and then they're at the very, very top. Yeah, yeah. Basically it looks as if you then, you, it, you would think that you've got an option either to go through there or to go through the one before it. But if you actually lace up on the both of them, then the shoe will only move. So therefore your toes will only smash off the front and you'll save all your toenails. Ah, nice tip. All right. I'm looking for a pair of trainers to do demonstrations. No, I'm not wearing a pair that you could do that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if, lace up them bad boys. <laughs> all right, fueling for the race that we're doing together is about, we reckon about a five hour race. What type of fueling would you suggest? Um... You'll get by with just gels, same sort of thing that you would do in a marathon. Some gels and uh, some stuff under your hydration, whether it be something like tailwind um, or active fruit or something like that. Something that you get some sort of carbohydrates from as well. I'm yeah. sure you get like high five and all these sort of ones too. But whatever you use in training, use in your race. Um, don't wait to the race to try something new because that will end in disaster. Correct. Chafing, rubbing, not in the feet, but you know where. What kind of things would you suggest? I have friends that have had bleeding nipples as well running. Uh, yeah. I think you have at one point, didn't you? Aye. Uh, that's just a... So a lot of the time... See with bleeding nipples? Bleeding nipples is just basically your top getting sweaty and then the constant rub on your nipples. It's just it's a friction thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so lube up. Yeah, bit, always. bit further down, like yeah. uh, what are we talking about here? Like Loop up, tight pair of shorts. <laughs> I've, I've always went commando, tight pair of shorts. You're just tight, that commando tight, type tight of guy. Tight pair of shorts, like the compressed short ones that we spoke about earlier on, or something with a decent liner in it, yeah. um, which is almost like a pair of wide fronts or a pair of briefs that you would normally wear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you run your races, do you think about a particular pace that you're running, or do you do it all on feel? 
nowadays do it on feel um, in the past um, probably set myself up for some fails or beat myself up with times and expectations that I'd set myself Yeah. Um, so generally now I don't put a plan together or a pacing strategy I just go out and run on feel and basically try and race the people around about us um, yeah. as opposed to try to run other people's races yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, it's a it's an ego thing as well, though, isn't it? And it's and the 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 deeper you get into running, the easier it is to kind of deal with your own ego. Weirdly, you'd think it'd get harder, but I mm. think I think the the deeper you get, the more you see there are runners of levels above you and above you and above you. And if you just got to do your own thing, that's what I always I, I, think. Absolutely, and that, I still look at myself as just being an average runner. Yeah, and which is ridiculous. People, and, and other people are like, no, oh, yeah, you're that. And I'm like, no, because there's people that are better than me. Yeah. And I think that's because of the people. I train with a lot of people that are far better runners than me. Yeah. I think that's what kind of keeps me grounded a wee bit. It's very healthy. I like. I think it's really, I, that's why I love what you and me do. Like, we live on the opposite ends of the country, and you drive me forwards because... We started at similar times on our journeys. We went for that run on the beach where we nearly died. It's like both of our egos are in <laughs> both of our egos are in check because of that. Like I see what you're doing, and you see what I'm doing, and like it's and it, it's quite humbling. It, John, that was the fourth time we've done those questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thanks though mate. I'm sorry to take up so much of your time, but I appreciate it. Right, thanks buddy. Sorry to do that yep. to you again. I, I've definitely yeah, got yeah. it this time. Take care, see you Yeah, see you soon, mate. Bye. Bye. So I hope you took something away from that. I really learned a lot. I'm running my first ultra with John. He's actually coming down from Scotland to run it with me in uh, just under four weeks. I'm nervous, excited, all of those things, but I have learned a lot from that conversation. Now, if there's anything else you want to know, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment, and we will probably do a few more of these. I will be speaking to John again, maybe a little bit more in depth about ultra running even longer than we're doing. I'm, I'm doing a kind of five hour race. John does over 10 hour races sometimes, and obviously the fueling strategy is very different for those. So like I said, subscribe, drop me a comment, hit like all of the you know all of the stuff and if there's anything in particular you want to see let me know and I'll see you next week